chica. Bueno, para allá, tío, joder. What the fuck? What is it? Cariño, cariño. Cariño, ¿dónde estás? Cariño. Cariño. Bro, she's possessed. Leave her. Leave her. What is it? What is it? Okay then. <laughs> um. Okay. I wish I knew what they were saying. Um. Yeah. You know, if something happens, like if that's your friend and they get possessed, you leave. Okay. I don't care who they are. If it's your girlfriend, your best friend, I don't care, you leave them and you go because it's every man for themselves, okay? Possession is no joke. So if they're in the corner like, eh, no, you're leaving them, okay? I'm sorry, you can't save them, you just can't because then you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna get possessed too and then there's gonna be two of you and it's just gonna be a whole mess. So here's a tip from Lindsay. Leave your possessed friend, get out of there. Also, just don't explore creepy, whatever that is, possessed buildings in the first place. So, there you go. I don't like it. He's diving underwater. It's, there's gonna be a pop up. I don't like it. Oh my God, a prisoner. Some dude, some dude is popping up. Oh my God, a baby carriage. <laughs> I didn't even see what he looked like. I just, I heard the noise coming and then, no, I don't like that. That was creepy. I don't like that at all. My eyes are watering. Oh, what a great way to start it off. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Central Dark. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today let's look at these scary dark web videos you should never watch. And this is part three. If you haven't seen the other parts, then make sure to go check that out, even though you shouldn't watch it. But today, we're gonna be watching it. So, let's see how that goes. But when you type in Hitman on Excavator, you're gonna be given back countless results. Hitman. Super Hitman, Hitman, Silent Hitman, Dark Web oh Hitman my Reviews, God. Theory Hitman, Hitman. Basically, Hitman are everywhere on the deep and dark web. It's no surprise that you can find a Hitman on the deep and dark web. For example, any link that I click is gonna bring me back. Don't click it. Working link. There we go, the Loyal <gasps> International Contract Killer. Home, join oh my, my chat. Lord. The Hitman, loyal for Hitman duties. Basically, take a look at the screen over here. This is what the deep and dark web is all about. It's just websites that look like this, websites that look like they were coded in 1996. Oh my God. Like that's a legit website on how to find a hitman? That is insane. Again, he shouldn't be showing us this. No. But also I thought it would be like more coded, like not use the word hitman. <laughs> like maybe something so people don't know, you know, like just coded words. Like I don't even know what you would say. Takes care of business. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> and it was like, join my group chat. Can you just imagine like a group chat of Hitman? Like, hey, yo, what you got? Who, who you killing today? Who's your target? Hey, yo, maybe let's meet up for a coffee after we kill somebody. Some counterfeit passports, uh, visas, European visas. I haven't just like explored this yet. I just had the link open. I have all the links open, ready to go. Original driver's license. So you could pay with Bitcoin. Anonymous cryptocurrency. Oh my god. Start a new life. <gasps> new identity, passport, and permanent residency visa registered. Yo, this is for Joe Goldberg from the show You. Like, this is what he uses, I swear. Oh, you can literally start a new life? Yo, yo that's why people are into Bitcoin. Low key. That's why. So that they can go onto these sites and pay, and no one knows because they can't trace it. Did you, you could get a, what did it say? Driver's license, a passport, all these fake IDs. That's where people get fake IDs from the dark web. Cause I've never seen the dark web. I'm not going on there. I'm no, no thank you. I'd probably get a virus. Honestly, I'd probably click something and then get a virus and then they're gonna hack me and then come after me. Yeah, we can put it anywhere. This freaking you know, dude. Put it on the wall, find a way to fix this on. Great. And if you, if you also get the leg bones, it'll look even better like this. We're both in about it. Uh, should, should I at least waste some of the money and everything so you have fun before you get caught? Caught? Because I don't think you want to go to jail. No one wants to go to jail. Yeah, I think, well, uh, well without having wasting none of the money and everything, you know, you want to have fun before you do it. 
Okay, I have seen this video before and that's why I was like, this guy! So this is a video called Grave Robbing for Morons, okay? Legend goes that it was originally on the dark web, like legit, and somebody found it and then brought it over to YouTube. And still, after like years of research, nobody knows who the heck this guy is, but he robs graves. So in the video, that's a real skull. And he's talking about, in the video, he talks about how to grave rob and then get, get, what is it, get, oh, get away with it. So in the video, <laughs> So in the video, he talks about how to grave rob and get away with it. That we find sometimes. The U.S. International Traffic and Arms Regulations, ITAR, currently classify this as exporting ammunition. So if you send this program over to Anguilla, okay, which is like right over here, <laughs> you basically, basically an arms dealer. So if you're in the United States, the simple harmless act is illegal. I'm not in the United States, but I'm still not going to tempt fate. <laughs> Click the submit button below is an act of civil disobedience and this will make you an international arms trafficker Wow, well, I don't think he should be sharing that information online, you know, just maybe not because then Anyone can just go on there and start Trafficking weapons. We don't want that. So Yeah, maybe he shouldn't be posting about that. Um, I don't know. I that's one thing that's should just stay on the dark web. You know, we don't need to know about that. We don't, we don't need that energy in our life, honestly. No, thank you. This is when you take your cryptocurrency, you take your Bitcoin, you send it to an address, and that address is gonna basically send your money around to different addresses, spreading it around, making it harder to track your money, and then it sends it back to you, basically. Sends it back to you, basically. I don't think it's gonna send it back to you. I've never ever laundered my money, so I can't tell you. Money I laundering. Is. I know what Bitcoin laundering is. But the money would come back to you and in a sense, that money has been washed. Clean money. For example, we're gonna open up Bitcoin Wash. Thanks to everyone who's used our service, we laundered over 700 Bitcoins to over 2,000 users. Well, that's illegal. <laughs> He's like money laundering. I'm like, mm, yeah, that's illegal. We don't do that. No. <laughs> now it seems like I'm doing that. I'm like, no, we don't do that. No, I honestly don't. That is crazy. I love how he's like, and then it washed your money. Like, why can't you just put it in the sink and, you know, let some water wash your money, you know? <laughs> no, um, yeah, maybe he shouldn't be telling everyone about this again because that's illegal and we don't do that. So, no, don't do it, guys. What is that? I like the music. What is that? So help me if something pops up. <sighs> I can't tell what's flying through the sky. Is it supposed to be a ghost? Because it says ghosts that hunt back TV. Mm, I don't know what that is. I thought it was just like a big bird. <laughs> like a, not like big bird from Sesame Street, but like, a big eagle flying through the sky? Or what's that legendary creature? The, is it a hippogriff? Hippo, hippogriff? Bro, if it's not that, then I just look so stupid. But like the creature that's like a bird and it's like a legendary mythical creature, maybe it's that. Who knows? All right guys, that's all for today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Obviously, comment something down below and subscribe to our channel. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan. Stick around for some bloopers and I'll see you when I see ya. Oh, I already don't like this because I've seen this video before and it scared me. Okay, there's a pop-up. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Oh, did you say intro queen? That's a queen, but you Oh, I was like, queen? Okay, guess we're being a queen today. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's back? What's back? Wow! What's back? What's back? <laughs> All right, sorry, the queen's a little tired today. We're doing her queen duties. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. <laughs> all right then, that's great. Is that all? That is it. Oh, but I wanted to do more. <laughs> that's, one. that's a little that's a little quick on it. It's only 13 minutes. I gotta talk more. So guys, <laughs> what's up? What's going on? How's your day going? <laughs>